reaching the age of adolescence adolescence is the age where it leads to changes and that is leading to reproductive maturity puberty it attaining the reprodu- reproductive maturity in the age from 11 to 18 or 19 it starts at the age of 11 and even sometimes it starts in the age of 13 and it starts developing the organs and body changes and it reaches till 19 when a child attains a reproductive maturity for the first time then it is called puberty the human body undergoes several changes during adolescence these changes mark the onset of puberty it is the growing up to certain age among the human beings it starts from the age 11 till 19 and the age from 13 to 19 we call them as teenagers adolescence it is not only leading to the reproductive maturity it results in changes in the body like increase in height change in body shape voice change increased activity of sweat and sebaceous gland or oil glands development of sex organs reaching mental intellectual and emotional maturity and also leading to the development of secondary sexual characteristics the secondary sexual characteristics among boys and girls they began to grow fast and the boys development of mustache and beard is common the hairs begin to grow at pubic parts and at the chest among the girls breast development and hair development at the pubic and on arms and legs these are the some of the changes among boys and girls as a result of secondary sexual characteristics even we find changes among the teenagers particularly voice change the change in the voice is due to the larynx begins to grow the boys develop larger voice boxes the growing voice box in boys can seen as protruding part of the throat called adam's apple in girls the larynx is hardly visible from the outside because of its small size the girls have high pitched voice whereas boys have deep voice sometimes the muscles of the growing voice box go out of the control and that may leads to hoarse voice but this is temporary change it retains for few days or few weeks and later on it becomes normal changes in the height they attain maximum height during puberty they attain maximum of 90% of height and till 18 years the height may go on increasing even it is not only enlargement of the arms and legs bones sometimes even it is affected by the genetics that is the genes of the parents also plays a major role in 
increasing the height of the adolescent students this is how we can find the changes in the height the height gradually increases and in some cases all of a sudden increase of the height because of the elongation of arms and leg bones and even by the heredity and even we can find the body changes change in the body shape now I, when puberty is attained there will be enlargement of the breast widening of the shoulders waist becomes wider among the girls among the boys there will be more prominent body changes among the boys when compared to the girls a worry increase in the length widening of the shoulders and the arms and the leg bones shows a rapid in rapid increase change in the voice this is enlargement of the larynx and among the boys the voice box increases and that results in adam's apple as you see in the image adam's apple this is found in boys whereas girls larynx is very small that is very hard to see the larynx from external side and even among the girls they have high pitched voice whereas boys has very deep voice this is the image showing the thyroid gland and above that larynx covered by epiglottis larynx is considered as voice box covered by epiglottis the vibration at the epiglottis always makes the sound in the voice box and very important change is increased activity of sweat and sebaceous gland during puberty the secretion of sweat glands and sebaceous glands that is oil glands increases many young people get acne and pimples on the face at this time because of the increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands And this is the image showing the sebaceous and sweat glands and this activity increases during puberty and during teenage period a very common problem is the acne and pimples on the face no need to get fear about your pimples it is common problem because of hormonal change because of puberty and the formation of blackheads white heads in the skin pores are the common problems the sex organs among human beings the testes which produces sperms among the males the ovary produces ovum among the females in females every month they produce one egg and among the males they produces more number of sperms but only one sperm get fertilized the male with the Egg sex organ produces fertilization sperms takes place and the female sex organ produces egg the secondary sexual characters are prominent at the puberty the boys can develop hair on their chest and other pubic parts and the boys has very deep in voice 
development of moustache bare facial hair and these are the secondary sexual characters among the boys among the girls the variation in the body shape and the hair growth at the pubic places and enlargement of abdominal thigh part are common as a secondary sexual characters among the girls and the changes which occur at adolescent are controlled by the hormones hormones are the chemical messengers these are the secretions secreted by endocrine glands and the hormones directly enters into blood stream to reach particular body part called target site the target site responds to the hormone and endocrine glands are release the hormones directly into blood stream because they are ductless glands the endocrine glands which has a major role during adolescent is the pituitary gland at the puberty when it secretes normal it results in normal growth if it increases it leads to gigantism if the secretion is under secretion then it leads to dwarfism thyroid gland which is otherwise called personality hormone the deficiency of thyroxin which is an hormone secreted by the thyroid gland which controls regulates the metabolism of fat protein and carbohydrate it is controlled by iodine and the iodine is obtained by the seafood and iodized salt thyroxin is called as personality hormone adrenal gland is very important which present as a cap on the pair of kidney adrenal gland which secrete the hormones called adrenaline which maintain the correct salt balance in the body the maintenance of correct salt balance in the blood by the adrenaline helps the body to adjust to stress when one is very angry excited sorrow got feared or in any embarrassed or worried condition adrenaline controls the stressed situations hence it is called emergency hormone the pancreas which secretes insulin and glucagon these are the two hormones insulin controls the glucose level in the blood if insulin secretion is reduced then it leads to diabetes mellitus glucagon quite opposite to the insulin during fasting the stored glycogen is converted into glucose by glucagon and glucagon and insulin both are secreted in pancreas and the gonads that is testes in males produces sperms the ovaries in female produces egg so these are some of the endocrine glands which secretes hormone testes produces testosterone which brings secondary sexual characters among the males the ovaries produces estrogen which is responsible for 
secondary sexual characters among the females this is the image showing endocrine system among the human being the sex determination among the human beings we already know human beings have 46 chromosomes or 23 pair of chromosomes among 23 pair 22 is considered to be autosomes and one is considered to be sex hormone or allosome 22 decide all vegetative parts of the body whereas one chromosome decides the sex of the human being now as you are seeing the image if the chromosomes the sex chromosomes are x and x then it results in female and if the chromosomes are x and y then it result as boy or male the female carries all sex chromosomes as x chromosome whereas among the males when the gametes are formed 50 percent of the gametes are x chromosome and 50 percent are of y chromosomes so the sex is determined by the father if the ovum get fertilized by the y chromosome it results in boy baby if egg is fertilized with the x gamete from the male then it results in girl baby so the sex is determined mainly by the father now look at the chromosomes father as x and y the mother as xx and the children's options are 50 50 percent of chances for girl baby and for the boy babies because the hormones produced among the males are 50 percent of x and 50 percent of y it is all which gamete fuses with the egg is the final to decide the the sex of a human being whether it is a male or female x is an egg and the sperm x fuses with the x it results in girl baby the other one x is an egg the y gamete fuses with the egg result in boy baby the ovum when it get fertilized with the sperm it results in the formation of zygote the egg produced in the ovary it is single in number whereas sperms produced in the male is huge number but only one sperm fertilize with the egg all the sperms enter and give the competition but only one sperm touches the ovum enters and fuses with the egg and when ga male gamete fuses with female gamete as a result fertilization completes and it results in the formation of zygote the fertilized egg is called zygote it starts dividing into 2 4 8 16 and then blastocyst and this blastocyst is formed in the fallopian tube 
where the fertilization takes place and then it starts moving and get implanted in the uterus. This is the image showing that the ovary produces egg. The egg enters into fallopian tube. The sperm reaches the fallopian tube. The male and female gamete fusion takes place and the zygote is formed. The zygote starts moving along the fallopian tube and reaches uterus. And further, the embryo development takes place in the uterus. This is how soon after fertilization, the implantation takes place. In case, if the sperm is not fertilized with the ovum, the ovum along with the linings formed for developing fetus will be discarded from the uterus in a form of layers and through bleeding and this is known as menstruation. The menstruation cycle starts at the age of puberty till the age of 45 to 50 years among the females. The menstruation occurs once in about 28 to 30 days. The first menstruation flow begins at puberty and name as menarche. At the age of 45 to 50 years, the menstruation cycle stops. The stoppage of menstruation is termed as menophase. So, this is found among the females. The reproductive health. The physical and mental well-being of an individual is regarded as individual's health. To keep the body healthy, every human being at, the, at any age needs to have a balanced diet. The person must have a personal hygiene and adequate physical exercise. Then his body will remain fit and at the adolescent age because of rapid growth and development they need a very nutritional diet. So nutritional diet, a complete balanced diet is very essential for adolescents. For infants the mother's milk provides all the nourishment whereas adolescent require a complete balanced diet along with the physical exercise. Along with that, the adolescent should be aware of reproductive health and personal hygiene and also too much of conscious with physical exercise to keep their body fit. Say no to the drugs. They harm the body in the long run. Don't take the drugs unless the prescription by the doctor. Drugs are addictive. Once if you start taking the drugs, you will become more dependent on the drugs. So, usage of the drugs should be avoided. You all know about the sexually transmitting disease that is AIDS caused by HIV virus. It usually spreads through the sexual contact, infected syringes and by the blood transfer. So be aware of all these concepts. Reproductive health gives clear information about sexually transmitting diseases like AIDS, gonorrhea, syphilis etc which usually spread by bacteria and virus and this gives information how to have a personal hygiene in order to prevent the diseases spread through the sexual contact and also birth control measures with the one child 
the life will be happy